Hi, Jeff here with jmbreviews.com. We're doing a second installation video today with the SanDisk SSD or solid state hard drive. We're gonna do a comparison video between a SSD drive in a MacBook as opposed to a standard drive that's in one of these units here. Uh, a couple of things you're gonna need whenever you're doing this, and it's something I do every time I'm replacing a hard drive in, whether it be a, a laptop or a PS3 or a, a PC, is an external drive caddy. And the reason why I use one of these is before I go ahead and I, I replace the drive, I like to format that drive into whatever uh, system that we're putting it into. Uh, if we're doing a, a, a PS3, it's gonna be FAT32, or NTSF, or if we're doing a, uh, a laptop, again, it's gonna be NTSF. Um, so with this guy here, basically what you're gonna wanna do is get, get your caddy, uh, throw the SSD on the unit, plug it into the existing laptop, and then format this drive so that it, it just, in my mind, it's making it a bit easier as far as it goes. Um, most of the times the system will take the, the empty drive, format it to work with that system, and then move forward with it. But for me, I like to make it a bit quicker, the less problems, I know that it's gonna run. So I go ahead and I use an external caddy to format the hard drive that I, I'm using uh, to whatever platform it is that I need to put it into, all right? So that being said, on a MacBook, this is basically how the installation goes, is you're gonna take the, the MacBook and flip it upside down, and you're gonna to wanna to remove the battery. On, on this particular unit, the battery is uh, what's hiding the hard drive on a MacBook. So take anything you need to uh, quarter a penny. I'm using a, a watch tool, and we're gonna go ahead and open it up, take the battery out of the unit, and then you've got three small screws that are holding the unit in place. Uh, you wanna go ahead and take those three screws out, and uh, behind that, you're gonna find the hard drive holder and uh, also the memory slots. So um, take these three screws out real quickly. Once you have the three screws out, you'll remove this, this piece here that, that locks everything in place. Uh, you'll see whenever you get in there, you've, you've got a couple of, of little levers in here, and these are used to remove the memory modules, so if you're gonna replace memory at the same time, you can go ahead and just uh, ratchet those out and pop them out. But we're gonna move on to the hard drive, which is located on the other side. And with most Macs, whether it's the MacBook or MacBook Pro, there's a, a little white piece of plastic over here, and that is gonna be how you remove the drive. You just simply take and yank on that and it'll come right out, okay? Once you have that out of the unit itself, there's gonna be four locking screws that hold the drive into the caddy. You're gonna to wanna to go ahead and remove those. And on, on these guys, you, they're using a Torx, a Torx style screw on this particular version of MacBook. So um, you wanna go ahead and match up the right size Torx screw um, to it and then pop out all four of those screws. So we're gonna go ahead and take care of that right now. All right, so we got all four screws out. And you're gonna simply remove the factory drive from the caddy and then you wanna go ahead and put your new drive in the same orientation and then reinstall the four screws that hold that drive in place. Once you have the four screws reinstalled into the caddy itself, uh, again, you just simply slide that piece back in and make sure it seats completely into uh, the, the connector for the, the drive itself, all right? And we'll set aside the, the replacement drive. All we're gonna do at that point then is reinstall the backing plate that holds the memory modules as well as the uh, hard drive in place. Once you have all three screws tightened back up, you just take your battery reinstall the battery back into the laptop and then lock it back into place you're done 